Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to easily tether or share your iPhone's data connection to either your PC or Mac using Tether.com's new iOS service. It's extremely easy to use, and what I like most about this service is that it does not rely on a jailbreak, so you don't have to have your device jailbroken in order to do this, and it doesn't rely on an application either. Basically, what you have to do is go to Tether.com forward slash iPhone, pay a yearly fee of $30, and once you do that, simply download their application. I already have it installed right now and then it'll actually set up an ad hoc network you connect to that network using your iPhone and then once it's connected to the network simply go to Safari and then tether.com forward slash web and log in and then basically it uses HTML5 and the ad hoc network to share your iPhone's data connection with your computer and I'll actually demonstrate this right now <laughs> So again, the URL is tether.com forward slash iPhone. I'll have a link to that down below. Once you have the application downloaded, all you have to do is open it up. And the first thing you'll notice right here is it prompts you to actually set up a network. So the first section up at the top is for the network name, and then you can set up the ad hoc password if you want. We're actually not going to set up a password. I'm just going to title this network ICU ID, and then just hit OK, and it will actually set up the network automatically for you. As you can see, it's creating it right now. And over here on my iPhone, I'm actually just going to go inside of the settings application, go to Wi-Fi, and then scroll down. As you can see, tether.com forward slash ICU ID. That's the one we want to connect to and it is already connected. So once it's connected, you can simply press the home button and then go inside of Safari and go to tether.com forward slash web. I've already gone there and I'm already actually prepared to log in. As you can see, tether.com forward slash web and I'm just going to hit log in right now. I already have my credentials entered. And now, as you can see, it's saying it's preparing to establish a proxy tether. And then below that, it's trying to connect to my computer right now. All right, there we go. After hitting reconnect, it did say that it's connected to the computer. And over here inside of the tether application, you'll notice that it says it is connected to the iPhone and the connection type is via a browser. So that's just Safari on the iPhone with HTML5. Below that, it says packets sent, packets received, and then you have data sent and data received. So this is basically a convenient way to keep track of how much data you've actually used during a single session. It also says to make sure that auto lock is turned off on your iPhone so that it does not not lock because it requires a constant connection with Safari so you need to leave that open. I've actually prepared a couple of web pages here to show you guys how this actually works and how fast it actually works and I was actually surprised at how good this thing is. So let's go ahead and open up Safari over here. Like I said I have a couple of different things already open. I have my YouTube channel right here. I'm just going to expand this and kind of leave Tether open so you can see approximately how much data it uses. And let's go ahead and just refresh this page right now. All right, it is almost fully loaded. And there we go. So that didn't take too long, especially considering it's going over 3G. Now let's just go ahead and mute this and bring over Tether here. As you can see, it says it's already received about two megabytes of data. So this thing will take up your data plan. So if you do not have unlimited data, I highly do not recommend this unless you just need to use it for work and you absolutely have to get something done. So that's basically just how long it takes to load a page. Let's just go ahead and try and load my website again. So let's go over here. And there we go. That's about how long it takes to load a website. Again, it does take longer, obviously, because you are running over a 3G connection. But surprisingly, it's actually faster than trying to load the same thing on the iPhone itself. Now, let's give you guys a demonstration of how easy and efficient it is to actually watch a video. It doesn't really lag much at all, and it does a really great job at buffering. So I have one of my videos here on YouTube and let's go ahead and zoom in. 
as you can see right here that light gray bar indicates how much it actually has buffered so it's doing a great job at buffering and as you can see obviously the playhead has not caught up to it yet and it is playing because you can see the counter down below at the bottom so this thing will let you watch video you'll be fine most of the time you will not have any issues when actually trying to stream something but as I was saying uh, supposedly this does work with a 3G iPad as well or with the 3G iPad and once the 4G iPad comes out the new iPad I will actually make a test video for this I'll make a demonstrational video show you guys what type of speeds I get basically the same thing I'm doing in this video and you guys can kind of get a feel for that as well again I highly recommend this service it just works and it works well so to conclude this video, let's just go ahead and look and see how much this actually took up. So this did take up about 29.5 megabytes of data for download, and it did send 1.5 megabytes of data. And again, you do have to leave Safari open over here on your iPhone. So that's basically just my video for Tether.com's iOS tethering service. I hope you guys liked it. Please be sure to rate it up if you did. Leave any comments down below in the comment section. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.